Hello, Stitches. This is Stitches. She's uh, one of my girlfriend's contributions to the uh, garage here. She's got some investigating to do. I've got some investigating of my own to do. We've got the uh, injector nozzle. You okay over there? Yeah. Okay, watch out, watch out for the gas lamp. We've got the uh, injector nozzle from the uh, Fairbanks Moore's 36A engine. I did a little video a couple weeks ago on a disassembly of this injector nozzle and its pump. So I've got it reassembled and cleaned today and I want to determine if the uh, the nozzle here at the tip is uh, any good. So I've got my uh, nozzle tester here. The Buddha nozzle tester. It's made by Alice Chalmers. It's a tool specially designed to test the cracking or popping pressure of uh, uh, diesel injector nozzles. So um, I had a little bit of trouble identifying the uh, specified uh, cracking pressure for this engine. And in most situations the manufacturer will uh, specify the appropriate pressure for the nozzle, not the uh, not the nozzle manufacturer, the engine manufacturer. But I was unable to find or easily find that information. So I've got a piece of uh, American Bosch literature which states that if you cannot find the exact uh, engine manufacturer specification, just set it to 1,700 pounds. So that's what, what we're going to try to do right now. So I've already got this uh, uh, unit filled up with clean fuel oil. Um, and uh, I've got it primed up and let's see, let me close the valve here for the gauge and we'll just actuate the handle here a few times and uh, see what our spray pattern looks like let me set you guys down the tripod here okay well I've got a I've got the case for the uh, injector tester right behind it so hopefully uh, the dark backdrop will uh, allow you to see the spray pattern a little bit better Always wear glasses when you do this, and never, ever, ever get your fingers or your hand underneath the uh, the nozzle tip. So I'm going to give it a few strokes and uh, see what the spray pattern looks like. Let me zoom in a little bit more for you, so you can see the tip. So this is the nozzle tip right here. That looked like a pretty well atomized spray, I didn't see any streams there. So now we'll uh, open the valve up and check the pressure. Stand by. Okay, well I got my camera woman here. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Uh, so we got the valve open for the gauge. Oh, it's just the wind blowing the door closed. And we're going to give it some nice steady slow pumps and uh, see what the uh, cracking pressure is. That looks like it's almost there. Got a little bit of leakage past the pump on the tool here, but... I'm going to say that's okay to start out with. Um, the uh, adjustment for that pressure is underneath this cap, which I'll just show you how that works real quick. Oop, get the camera in. Let me grab this screwdriver. I'm going to give this, I'm going to tighten this screw a little bit, this adjustment, there you go, which is going to increase tension on the uh, nozzle spring, and that's going to increase our cracking pressure. See, we're up almost so 2,000 now. Yep. Went up 200, 200 pounds just based on that little, that little bit of turning there, so let me go back a bit. 
Let's see if we can get back to about 1700. A little bit high still. It's alright, you're alright, keep. Oh, you're going for the screw, okay. Yeah. Well, tell me how to do my job. Alright. I'd say that's pretty much it. You know, between 1500 and 2000. So, that's uh, right about 17 or so. So, the next test we gotta do. Hi. Are you still recording? Mm hmm. Okay. Alright, the next test we gotta do is bring it up to just under the cracking pressure and see if we get any uh, leakage past the nozzle. So, what you wanna do is bring the camera down. Bring the camera down to this level and zoom in on the, the tip of the nozzle here. We want to see if we've got any any leakage, okay. any non atomized leakage. So I'm going to come up on the pressure. Oh, see that? That's that's bad. See those little streams of fuel? Mm -hmm. That nozzle. If I can't clean it and clean and and stop that, those little streams, um, that nozzle's got to be replaced. Stitch. Now, I've already cleaned it, so there's nothing more I can do. So technically, this nozzle needs to be replaced. Um, since this engine is not going to be used for work, just going to be used for show, I'm, I'm quite sure that it would run just fine with that little bit of. Uh, little bit of uh, leakage there past the nozzle. So I'll keep my eyes out for a new nozzle for it. I've got the American Bosch part number. But until that uh, until that time, we're going to run it like that. But just wanted to show you guys this handy little tool. Alright? All right, by the way, thanks for watching.